everybody that you talk to and almost everything you read is all about the technology itself. And people fall in love with the technology. And what we need to do is take a step back and say, wait, this is all about people. How are we making this technology available so we're actually making people's lives better? And if, we're, and if the technology isn't doing that, then it may be very cool technology, but we're not going to deploy it. So I think you know, everybody's focused also on the race. Who's going to be first with this? Who's going to be first with that? To me, it's not who's going to be first. It's who can uh, translate whatever it is into a way that actually people will value and feel like is personal to them. And if we can do that, um, then I think we'll have done a great service to society and we'll have done a great thing for our business. Uh, you need the technology to do that, so I'm not suggesting that one should be a laggard. But I also don't think in many of these cases it's who's first to market, it's who's most thoughtful to market, I believe will win. Everything about our industry, every single thing is, is changing. I hate using the word disruption because it's overused. But frankly, I think in this case, it's probably relevant. So the ownership model, um, you know, changing as we're sitting here. How a vehicle is propelled, the internal combustion engine giving way to electrification. Um, 3D printing, uh, you know, the way we actually make a vehicle. Artificial intelligence is going to change the way uh, vehicles uh, interact with society and, and also the way they're made. Um, uh, Autonomous, you know, the, the fact we're not going to have drivers in many of our cars. So if you look at our business, every single piece of the business, including the way we finance the uh, vehicles, is going to change or is changing. Now you can look at that one of two ways. It can be terrifying, and it is, because when you don't have a clear view of what it is that's going to happen, you know, and it's always very destabilizing and, and a bit unnerving. I prefer to look at it, though, is this is an amazing time. And if you look at all the great fortunes that have been made around the world, it's always been a time of great change and great disruption. So I think there are going to be great fortunes made again in this era.